Mukesh Ambani's house is literally a castle? Let's find out. I know it's weird to think, but even for billionaires, some purchases are binges. From skyscraper houses to invaluable works of art, these world's elite buys ludicrously expensive things to fuel their passions, showcase their wealth, or spend the money just because they can. For today's video, we're going to be talking about the weirdest, craziest things billionaires have spent their money on. First up, the Sultan of Brunei's car collection. It's good to be a Sultan. You wonder why? Just take a look at the collection of cars owned by the Sultan of Brunei, who rules a country smaller than the state of Delaware. His mythical fleet contains between 5,000 and 7,000 of the world's finest, best performing, and the most expensive cars, which values at a combined $5 billion at least. Among the best gems are the 21 Lamborghinis, 452 Ferraris, and 604 Rolls Royces, including the Star of India, a $14 million Rolls convertible that has the distinction of being the world's most expensive car. Next up, Robin Abramovich's Super Yacht. It's a pretty well known by now that yachts are crucial weapons in the battle of one-upmanship amongst the world's elite. But if boats are a rivalry, billionaire Russian oligarch Roman Abramovich wins, hands down. Among his toys are a Boeing 767, an ice boat, and the imaginary Chelsea Football Club. The most outstanding possession of them all, however, is his claim to the world's biggest and most expensive yacht, the Eclipse. Launched in 2010, the Eclipse boasts 6,000 square feet of living space across 11 staterooms and suites. If you miss her when she leaves port, don't worry. You can park your chopper on her three helicopter landing pad. Need to abandon ship quickly? No sweat. The boat's three person submarine can dive 160 feet. The total cost of this massive boat's around $1.2 billion. Next stop, Mukesh Ambani's home. Mukesh Ambani inherited and controls an oil empire that's gotten him an estimated net worth of around $43 billion. The Indian Kaikun used a billion dollars of that wealth to build the most luxurious home in his native country, and the whole world. Ambani's residence is a 27-story, 400,000 square foot skyscraper that boasts three helicopter pads and six underground parking levels. Named after the legendary island of Antia, its facilities allegedly include a ballroom, a 50-seat theater, and nine elevators in the lobby alone. About 600 staff members are required to maintain Ambani's mega mansion. Next up, Steve Cohen's 14-foot preserved shark. A lot of rich people have remarkable fish tanks, but that child's play compared to laying claim to your own pickled shark. In 2004, billionaire hedge fund manager Steve Cohen bought what might be the world's most exclusive piece of modern art. A 14-foot tiger, tiger, tiger shark preserved with a combination of alcohol and formaldehyde. Initially purchased for 93k in 1992 by art mogul Charles Saatchi, Cohen bought the piece, officially called the physical impossibility of death in the mind of someone living, more than a decade later for an unidentified amount, which New York Magazine reported to be between 8 and 12 million dollars. Next up, Ken Griffin's pair of paintings. Ken Griffin, the hedge fund billionaire, is a known art addict. But the jewel of his assortment is a pair of abstract impressionist paintings he bought at the same time at an auction. One by Willem de Kooning and the other by Jackson Pollock. In total, he dropped a half a billion dollars on the purchases, which the Chicago Tribune called one of the largest private art deals ever. Next up, Prince Al Walid bin Talal is Airbus A380 Flying Palace. Membership of the Saudi royal family's inner circle certainly has its advantages. Prince Al Walid bin Talal, for example, already owned a $220 million Boeing 747-400, but in his world, that's small potatoes. In 2007, he paid 319 mil for an A380 double-decker super jumbo jet, the world's biggest passenger aircraft. He ordered upgrades, including spaces for his horses and two Rolls Royce cars that sent the sticker price soaring past 500 mil. Before it was even ready, however, he sold his newest toy to an unrevealed buyer. Next up, Larry Ellison's Hawaiian Island. For the richest of the rich, even the magnificent mansion simply won't do. For the Oracle founder, Larry Ellison, home is the Hawaiian island of Lanai, which he picked up in 2012 for a cool $300 million. His tropical paradise includes 90,000 acres, two Four Seasons resorts, and a town with a population of 3,200. If you're considering a stay in one of those resorts, you'll certainly vacation in luxury, but it'll cost you 21 k a night. And finally, Clive Palmer's Titanic. Some rich people sell for extravagant yachts, but Australian businessman and politician Clive Palmer, only the most famous ship in history, will do. As we know, Titanic has been at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean since it sunk in 1912. But, but not easily persuaded, Palmer commissioned Titanic II, a nearly exact copy of the doomed nine-deck White Star Line ship, right down to the grand staircase featured in the 1997 movie, but updated for modern travel. Also important to note, Titanic II has enough lifeboats for everybody on board. 
Anyway, that wraps up our video for today. What do you think about it? Let us know in the comments below. If you're new to our channel, be sure to subscribe and ring that bell to get notified about our latest videos. Make sure to like it and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.